Welcome everybody. This is the third worksheet in the seven skill sequences for percussionist packet. This is the tetrachord chant. So a tetrachord is a series of four notes and they're all alphabetical and they fit the pattern whole step, whole step, half step. And we built 12 of them on the last video and on this one we're going to start writing them out in a different way and we're going to apply a shape to them. So it's very important that you already understand how to build them, that there are a whole step, a whole step, and a half step. And then we're going to introduce the name, the shape, how to count off, and what to say. Um, I know I told you guys that they were all the same pattern, Do, Re, Mi, Fa. And so we're going to write the first four, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, and then take them backwards and go Mi, Re, Do, or the third note, the second note, and the first note. So every tetrachord has four notes in them. That's what tetra means. So let's start building them C. We're going to call it a straight line. So if you look at the previous page, C, D, E, F are all on the same level. And so that is going to be a straight line. Now let's write in the tetrachord C, D, E, F. C is Do, D is Re, E is Mi, and F is Fa. It sounds like this. Do, Re, Mi, Fa. And then we're going to write it backwards. E, D, C. So we have Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. All right, G, A, B, C is also a straight line. So we're going to write those four letters in G. Re is A, Mi is B, and Fa is C. And it sounds like this. Do, Re, Mi, Fa. And then we just write it backwards. B, A, G. So we have G, A, B, C, B, A, G. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. Going up, then coming down. D is, we're going to call it the shape of a mountain. It's D, E, F sharp, G. And that F sharp is an elevated note. So if you follow along on the keyboard, you're going to see the F sharp is an elevated, and you'll think mountain when you see those four notes. D, E, F sharp, G. And then we're going to write them backwards. F sharp, E, D. So you're going to go up for four notes and then down for three notes, and that's going to be a very specific pattern. D sounds like this. Well, let's move on to the next set of notes. So the A tetrachord, we're going to call it also a mountain. It's the same shape as D. So it's A, B, C sharp, D. And it has one elevated pitch that's not on the same on the lower plane so let's write in do is a re is b mi is c sharp and fa is d so you have a b c sharp d and then we're going to write it backwards c sharp and then b and then a and then the a tetrachord sounds like this E, we're going to call it a sad face. So it's E, F sharp, G sharp, A. There's two elevated notes. And so let's write those in. Do is E, Re is F sharp. The third note, or the Mi, is G sharp. And then the Fa is A. And it sounds like this. And then we go back down. Going back down, it's G sharp, and then F sharp, and then E. So make sure the first and the last note are the same. All right, we're going to move on to B. It's B, C sharp, D sharp, E. So we have two elevated notes. We're going to say this one also looks like a sad face. So let's go ahead and write it in. B, C sharp, D sharp, and E. That is your B tetrachord. And again, do, re, mi, fa, mi, re, do. It sounds the same in every single set of notes. B, 
C sharp, D sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, B. So that is your B sad face. All right, make sure you check all your work before we move on. The next one we're gonna call the G flat left hook. G flat left hook. So you're gonna draw kind of a straight line on top and then let it dip down. Because G flat, A flat, B flat are all elevated notes. They're all those accidental notes up high. And then C flat or B natural is the lower note. So we're gonna think of it as a left hook. Like if you throw a hook with your left hand, like if you're throwing a punch, it kind of hooks down. And then we're going to go backwards, Mi, Re, Do, and that is B flat, A flat, and G flat. So you have G flat, A flat, B flat, C flat, B flat, A flat, G flat. D flat, we're going to call a valley. So you have two elevated notes followed by a low note followed by an elevated note. So it's D flat. E flat, F, G flat. So the F is the lower note, and that's why you're going to think valley. F is the valley. So D flat, E flat, F, G flat, and then coming back down, Mi is F, Re is E flat, and Do is D flat. <laughs> And the last one is the A flat valley. And it's going to be the exact same shape as the D flat valley. It's two elevated notes followed by a low note followed by an elevated note. So you have A flat, B flat, C, that's the lower note, and D flat, that's the other elevated note. And then we write it backwards C, B flat. And lastly, A flat. So make sure that on every line, the first note and the last note are the same. So where you see the second scale degree, Re, it's also the one coming down. Mi is the same as the Mi coming down. We want to make sure that there's really nice symmetry to these pages when you write them in and try to use your neatest handwriting. If it looks a little sloppy, see if you can be neater on the, on the last few of these. All right, we're starting on E flat, and it's a smiley face. E flat is a high note, and then F and G are low notes, and then A flat is an elevated note. So your Do is E flat, your Re is F, your Mi is G, and your Fa is A flat. Here's what it sounds like. So you have E flat, F, G, A flat, then coming back down, G, F, E flat. All right, so here we are on the B flat tetrachord. It's gonna be a smiley face, the same shape as the E flat one. And then we're gonna start with B flat, C, D, E flat. So you have the B flat elevated, C and D are down low, and then the E flat is elevated, sounds like this. flat is that first note and then C is the second note D is the third note E flat is the fourth note and it has that do re mi fa that same exact I'm, I'm not a singer so here we go we're on F right hook it's F G A then the last note is the elevated B flat so that's what's gonna make it hook up it's like throwing a, a cross with your right hand it's like a punch so an F G A right hook B flat and that's gonna take you up and then back down is gonna be A, G, F. So you have F, G, A, B flat, A, G, F. And that is all 12 of your tetrachords. Watch this video as many times as you need to and check all of your answers. Make sure you and everybody in your class has the exact same answers. If you don't understand how one of these tetrachords was built, make sure you ask the questions and see if somebody can talk you through it on a keyboard they all sound exactly the same, so if you're playing through these, and on the next video we are going to play and say it. If you memorize these, building scales is going to be so much easier. There's only 12, 
and I promise you memorizing them right now is going to be way easier than trying to learn all of this information later. So you're going to want to have all those basics right now. So do this video a few times, fill this worksheet out about two or three times and see if you can do it first take 100% right answers. These are necessary and primary band skills that are going to take you very far in any instrument that you want to play. Thank you so much for your time. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Bye.